Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know that I haven't been here in a while and I'm truly, truly, truly sorry. I've had, I have, I should say, a lot. And when I say a lot, a lot going on. So, my apologies, but thank you guys so much for the continued support. It's greatly appreciated. Today, I am doing my number one requested video by one person. Like not, but I am going to do a requested video, which is how I apply apply eyelashes. Not how to, but how I apply eyelashes, right? Because everybody do things a little differently. Okay. Okay. But before we get into it, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. This video has been sponsored by yours truly, K's Lashes. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. All jokes aside, y'all. So the items that you are going to need is, of course, some eyelashes, which I actually have mine. These are the ones I wore today. I literally got these at Dollar General, y'all. I am not one of those persons that I'm going to spend. Sorry, now my camera keeps going in and out of focus. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of money on eyelashes. The $5 ones will do just fine. It gets the job done. Gets the job done. So, those are my eyelashes. You will also need some eyelash glue. I know my friend will be watching this. I got eyelash glue, friend. This one is uh, sassy. I got this out of a Beauty Depot store here in North Carolina, Jacksonville, North Carolina. And I will say that I would not recommend this brand. I'm just using this because I paid $4 for it and I'm gonna get every last bit that's, that's in here. But I wouldn't recommend, recommend this because when it dries, it, uh, it dries not clear as it states. It's a whitish color. I don't really know how to explain it. It looks really weird. Uh, however, it gets the job done. It says shake well before use. Maybe that's the reason why. I don't really care for it. So when you apply this, you cannot be heavy handed. You have to be very, very light. Very feathered applying this. Because if you apply too much, you're really going to be able to notice that it didn't dry clear. And then you are going to also need your eyelash tool. And then for you guys, you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And, and that is all. So the first thing you're going to do is I'm actually going to be using a mirror. So if you need a mirror, grab one. But the first thing you're going to do is measure your lash, um, which I know is kind of hard to tell what me, but you guys are going to put your eyelash up here. Uh, kind of like that. And measure and make sure it fits from like right here to where your eyelashes, the hair stops. So, and then you're going to cut that excess off. I honestly. There's two methods. You could do this. I don't use that method. I honestly just trim where I feel comfortable because you can't I can't really see what I'm measuring like this. You feel me? So I just cut what I feel comfortable and if I when I apply it, if I see that it's way too long, I'll cut in a little bit extra. Okay. Once you've cut your eyelash, y'all pause the video wherever y'all need. Once you've cut the eyelash, you kind of want to bend your eyelash so that it's kind of curved. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's kind of curved. 
Do that to both lashes. All right, now here comes the fun part. Once you have curved your last, or once you have measured, you curved, and now you're ready to take your glue and apply. Again, the best glue I've heard is Duo glue, but my $4 glue works just fine. Duo is actually not that expensive either. Like you could get that out of a dollar store for I'm sure uh, the same price, if not a little less. And you guys are going to apply, if you're using this type of lash, you're going to apply to this band that you see. Here. Now, when you first open your eyelashes, uh, there is some type of tacky glue up there in order for the eyelash to stick to the container piece or the plastic piece. You can t kind of take your fingers and remove that tacky layer so you can see the band a little bit easier of so that way you can apply the glue efficiently. When I first open my lashes, I'm going to be quite honest, I don't try to remove that tacky layer because it's so tacky and so stuck onto the lash that if I rip it, it rips the lash, which of course defeats the purpose at that point, right? So when I first do it, I don't. Because when you apply your glue and then you remove, after you take the eyelash off for the day, you remove that, the tacky layer from the original would come off with your eyelash glue that you apply, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So anyway, so you're gonna get your glue, uh, squeeze your bottle so a little bit comes out, and like I said, you're going to apply a very thin layer. A very thin layer. So what I do is I apply it. And if I notice that I got too much, I'll take a side of my bottle that doesn't have any glue on it. And I'll wipe till the excess has came off. So it should look like this. You're gonna um, wave it around, let it dry for about 30 seconds. You could blow on it, whatever. And let it dry. And let it dry. 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 <laughs> Let it dry. Y'all, if y'all can recommend any like face, like detailed face routines, I know there's a lot, I'm sure there's a lot on YouTube, but comment down below what your detailed face routine is. Uh, my skin type is normal, it's not dry, and it's not oily, it's right in between, I guess you can say. Well, I don't even wanna say in between because I don't get oily like that. I don't, I get sweaty more than anything. And I don't really have a dry face. Like as far as my skin, it's not dry at all. I'm going to zoom in here. So you guys can kind of see. Don't, I don't know, I look hideous. My eyebrows, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm doing this. <laughs> Alright, so. Then what you're going to want to do is. You're going to apply it on top. Of your eye now here's where the hard part comes in I'm gonna see if I can really like honestly do this on the camera because I like to take my eye and go like this and then apply it like so I find it a lot easier I can see where I'm applying it to and apply it right beneath your actual eyelash line so it kind of looks crazy right now but I'm about to fix it up so what reason why you kind of want to dry it for like 30 seconds is so that way it gets tacky and that way when it gets tacky it's not sliding all over the place 
Because then you got glue everywhere and it's going to be a hot mess. I don't know if you guys see that. So I just moved it around. So it, it's from here to where my eyelash stops. And this is where I know if I need to trim a little bit more. Which honestly with these I am going to. But it fits perfect. But I don't want it to be all the way like in the corner of my eye. So I let that sit for a few seconds to get a little bit more tacky. After it gets a little bit more tacky, I push it up as far as I can to where I can see that the band is right on top of my eyelashes and I take my clamp and I clamp it down to my real eyelash. You want to be very careful when you're doing this. I tend to pinch my eyelids and it hurts. You're just going in here. You're pinching down. Now it comes. I know. Sorry, guys. I was blurry. So I was just pinching down. It comes with practice. A lot of practice. A lot, a lot of practice. And you want to make sure your band is as close to your eye line as possible so that way you can't see that it's a fake eyelash. You don't want a huge gap in between your lid and the eyelash band. So this one has been applied. You can kind of see right here it's a little messed up. The fun thing about these type of eyelashes is that literally they're quick, they're easy to put on and if you applied it incorrectly or you don't like the way it's been applied, you can take it off and reapply it. As to where with extensions, if you don't like how they've been applied, they're stuck there for a little bit. Unfortunately. Then same thing on your other eye. So thin layer, very thin layer. You don't want too much. Of course, you don't want too little. You want just the right amount. So it applies how it should. 30 seconds, let it dry. Wave it around, wave it around, wave it around. Low on it, whatever. Who's already started decorating for Halloween season? I haven't. Well, I really don't even decorate for Halloween. My mom does. Help her decorate. So, you want to apply it while... See, this one you could tell was a little wet. But that's okay, guys. If you get it like this, you can always go back and clean it up. But you want to apply it when... It's a little wet, but also tacky. So again, it's not sliding around. Like this one, it's kind of sliding around. And you want to take this and push it as close to your eyelash line as possible. So this one I need to cut. Yeah. This one I don't. This one turned out perfect as far as me cutting it. So I'm going to let it sit. Get a little tacky. You guys can already see the difference in my face. <laughs> I don't know. I'll be looking like mostly ghostly over here with no lashes on. And once it gets tacky, you just take it, 
and pinch it to your real eyelash so it's adhered to something sorry Sorry, keep forgetting that I'm recording that quick. So you're pinching until it's adhered to your actual lashes, right? Because if it's not adhered to something, they're going to fall off in the wind. Okay, then you can see that it is kind of applied closely. As possible to my actual real eyelash this right here is going to dry once it dries you go in there I'm using my eyelash tool to kind of wipe that off to clean it up Messed up on this one. I messed up on this one because um, I didn't let it get tacky enough. So you see what I mean? I literally just took that off. No, you should not take your eyelashes off like that, y'all. Y'all shouldn't. Because I st just applied it, it didn't adhere like it should have. You want to make sure too after you take your eyelashes off to get the excess glue off. Don't pull it like I am. Be better than me. Get some micellar water which is makeup remover in a sense and uh, take a little towelette Hold it over your eye so it mo moisturizes. I don't want to say moisturizes, but it moistens the tackiness and the glue itself. And then wipe your eye. As far as properly taking off the eyelashes, guys. Like I said, don't just rip them off like me. My friend be making fun of me. She be like, one day you don't gonna, gonna have no lashes to actually apply the lash to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, you know, we lose hair. One day we're going to lose hair anyway. I'm just trying to apply this one so you guys can see the final look. So you can tell that it's starting to get tacky because when it dries, it starts to uh, clear up. So I don't know if you guys can tell in the camera, but this is what it will look like. What? Don't focus. However, it's extremely white whenever it's uh, fresh. It's not tacky. But. So again, I pull my eye. I apply directly on my lashes. My actual eyelashes. Right underneath my eyelids. So again, it's close to my lid as possible so you can't tell you can't see the separation in between my eyelid and the eyelash itself because the trick is to create an illusion right you don't want people to know that it's your it's a fake eyelash so then I'll wait a couple seconds let it get a little bit more tacky I need my 
eyebrows done. I need my hair done. I need a face routine. Everything. It's everything. I need a true makeover. So then once it gets tacky enough, again, you're going to go in and pinch it to your actual eyelash so it adheres. Again, be very careful when doing this because you can pinch your lash, your eyelid of it. And that's how I apply my eyelashes. I also like to look. Sorry, someone was calling me. I also like to look to like as far as measurement. If I see that one is like kind of off centered, I will take that off and reapply it as well. I like for my lashes to look again very normal. I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see. Not so close. zoom back in so you guys can kind of see up close to the side if you guys can see it should be good too all right guys well thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial of how i apply my lashes i really hope that this video made sense if you guys have any questions comment down below i'll be more than happy to answer one thing that i did forget to mention that you would need in regards to applying your eyelashes is some lippy gloss my two favorite products in the whole world gloss guys is some lip gloss and uh some eyelashes can't leave the house without it if i didn't apply my eyelashes in the morning because i didn't have time best know they come and work with me and i apply them in the parking lot <laughs> before I walk in because it literally take it doesn't take this long it took longer in the video of course because I was trying to teach you guys but it, it should just be like a five minute process if that but again I truly truly appreciate guys for tuning in make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed and you like and it helped you guys apply your eyelashes but for now y'all I am out peace mm. I've been a oh, I've